There was a time when our ancient ancestors' hands had digits that all pointed the same way, tipped with claws. But our primate ancestors changed that. We've lost our claws and now have nails and opposable thumbs that allow us to grab things. What I want to know is when our hands started to become as functional as they are today. And one way to see that is to find out when we started making tools. Ancient tools can be found right here in the Great Rift Valley in Ethiopia. Erosion has uncovered these rocks in badlands that are over two and a half million years old. Paleontologists Bill Kimball and Don Johansson unearthed fossils of early humans here. They've also found plenty of evidence that those ancient hands were making stone tools. So what do I look for? Well, you'll look for uh, flakes on the ground, uh, something that is about uh, this big, slightly smaller, perhaps. Oh, yeah, you got a, you got a nice one. This is very typically. A nice one? I don't get this at all. Uh, yeah, I know. It looks like something from your driveway. Right. Some early human took a stone, a, a hammer stone, uh -huh. and struck it right there. Mm -hmm. And got oh, this, yeah, and you see, yeah. you have this, it's called the bulbal percussion. Yeah, okay. You could use it to strip off meat or whatever. You see all that in the rocks. It's almost, it's almost like a time machine you have, the way yep. you see this. It is. It's a time machine that takes us back to a, a period when the faintest glimmers of what it means to be human are beginning to emerge. The use of the hand, the cognition, the repeated behavior to produce a stylized uh, tool. So I've seen an ancient stone tool, and now I want to know about the changes that took place in our hand that allowed our ancestors to make them. So I pay a visit to Tracy Kivel, paleontologist from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology. I'm hoping to find out how our ancestors became as handy as we are today. Hello? Hello. Hi, Harry. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. To you. Nice to meet you. These don't look like fish. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely not fish, yeah. So I know what that is. I mean, I, you know, we teach yeah. human anatomy. That's a human hand. Yes, that's a human hand. One of the, the most important things about the human hand, which allows us to use tools so well, is that we have relatively short fingers and a long thumb. And having a really long thumb allows us to better, you know, move the pad of our thumb towards our fingers in what we call precision grips, like we do when we hold a pen, for example. Or dialing your cell phone. You know. <laughs> or for texting. In this box are the fossils. Yeah, so we see fossils from four million years ago up to 1.75 million years. People who do what I do, people who study hand bones, we're interested really in two questions, is what, what are they really doing with their hands in terms of are they still using their hands for climbing and trees and for locomotion? And when do they start using their hands for tools? So who's who in the zoo? What are their names and where, where are they from? This first one here is Ardipithecus, found in, in Ethiopia, and it dates to about 4.4 million years ago. But we're only seeing parts of two fingers there, right? So yes. which parts of the fingers are there? They're here? This, yes, exactly. So this okay. actually fits right here. So it oh, gives okay. you a sense. Wow, it's really long. They're very long fingers. And then finally, this hand here is the hand of, of Homo habilis, or the handyman, which comes from Tanzania, and it dates to 1.75 million years ago. And this is a really important hand in, in human evolution because it was found with stone tools and was considered to be sort of the first tool-making hand. By piecing together different fossils of the same species, the bone structures of ancient hands become more clear. The long fingers and thumb that make up the hand of Artipithecus isn't capable of fine precision grips. But over two million years, the fingers shrunk, making it easier for the thumb and fingers to work together. The fingers of Homo habilis are far better adapted for precision gripping and are therefore more likely to be creating tools. So the fossil record tells us that our tool-making capabilities are inherited from Homo habilis, which had the hands for making tools about two million years ago. That's another probably core? No. Yes, maybe. Uh, that's a maybe. Looks a little rough. 